Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be testing out a foundation that is likely to make me break out, but my curiosity cannot keep me away from this. So I wanna test out the Bye Bye Foundation from IT Cosmetics. And the reason I say will probably make me break out is because if you remember, I recently talked about this right here, the Your Skin But Better CC Illumination. A full coverage cream. This has an SPF of 50. This also has an SPF of 50 and there is something about the SPF in IT Cosmetics products that if I wear it consecutively starts to really aggravate my skin and that's not a huge knock on IT Cosmetics. That's just my skin. Like I have this issue with every SPF out there it feels. So leave below your sunscreen recommendations that don't uh, make you itch or break out or aggravate the skin because I'm always looking to find, you know, that item that will work for me that will keep me protected from the sun as well, you know? So they do sell this at Ulta. It is $39.50. It comes in 12 shades, which I know there has been a lot of discussion around the 12 shades. I don't think it's great. You know, I do think, you know, 12 shades is not enough, but I do have to say with this type of a CC cream or moisturizer that has more pigment, you do have a little more wiggle room when it's not super, super full, full coverage. So keep that in mind. You might be able to find something that's kind of around your skin tone. It doesn't have to be dead on. I might be eating my words by putting this on my face. Like we'll find out together if I can get a good match out of this. Um, but I do find there is a little more wiggle room, I guess, with CC creams, tinted moisturizers, and more light coverage products. You know what I'm saying? But they do need to do better. Okay, this has a proprietary 3D Skin Flex technology. This is going to give you smooth, flawless coverage. It's not gonna sink into your lines. This also has a diamond powder. Uh, that is a bioluminescence for subtle radiance without glitter or shimmer. It's gonna give you a little bit of a boost of illumination, which tells me that this is going to be more on the dewy end of things, which is kind of cool because honestly, you are harder to find a dewy product to be more full coverage than you are a matte. So let's just stop talking and I'm gonna start applying the product. Now I just need to figure out what shade I am. I'm medium in this. I would assume they're exactly the same, um, but I feel like I just wanna see what light medium looks like. Yes. I think that's gonna be the winner. That's light. That actually matches me pretty good, but my body is a little bit tanner, so I don't, like I hate when I use a lighter foundation and my face is just very, very pale and then the rest of me is tan. I think that looks horrible. So I try to match my body a little bit. And then this right here is medium. That's medium? Light medium? This is medium, it's very orangey. Light medium is a little more olive. It's oxidizing pretty fast too. All right, I think I'm just gonna go with light and cause it's oxidizing down a little bit. I've never tried light before. And use some bronzer to bronze up my skin and match it to my body. So that is what I'm going to do. I am going to prime my skin just a little bit in my T-zone. I'm gonna take my Tarte primer and just kind of press this in the areas that I want a little bit of a pore filling effect. I'm gonna start out with just a few pumps and we're gonna take the brush, grab a little bit of the product and I am just going to start working it into my skin. Ooh, it's like citrus sunscreen. It really has that sunscreen scent to it, which I think is kind of unavoidable with the type of sunscreen that is in here. It's not super full coverage, but it's blending really, really nicely, and it's not as dewy as I was expecting, to be honest. All right, it's been a little bit weird in the chin area. I don't really know why. I think this is looking really, really pretty. I like how it has blended on with a brush. I'm surprised that I like it with a brush so much. And this brush I wish was a little more densely packed, but the shape of it is really great. Like you can use the angles of this kind of triangular shape here to really get in between the brows, get around here, get up in the nose. The way that this is feeling on my skin right now, I like it the most out of all three. So there is the CC cream with SPF 50. There is the CC with illumination. This one is crazy dewy on me. I get so oily, even though I do love how this looks and this one is my mom's favorite. 
Um, I really like immediately how this is sitting on my skin. It's the perfect in-between. It's not overly dewy, it's not overly matte, it feels really fresh, it's giving me good coverage. Shoot, I really like this. Okay, I'm gonna conceal. Concealer went on really well on top of this, so that is always great in my book. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face makeup and I will be right back. All right, you guys, I am absolutely loving how my foundation looks. It looks fresh. It feels just like, well, actually it feels kind of itchy already. We're gonna get to that. But it looks so fresh. It does not look like it is clinging to anything. It does not look like I'm wearing heavy makeup and I absolutely love that. I just feel like my skin looks so good. It looks really evened out. You can still see pigmentation poking through so it's not super full coverage, but it also doesn't look like I'm wearing 10,000 layers of makeup. So I really, really love this. And I I think I am going to end up recommending it, but I do have to say I am already itchy. That sucks so much because I want to use this and love this and if it didn't do that, I probably would have this be in like my top three because it blends so quickly. It has a lot of great ingredients in it. In fact, oh my gosh, have you ever really looked at the ingredient listing on this product or any of the CC Illumination, the CC Regular, like it's crazy. They have a continuation, like here's the starting point for ingredients, and then you flip it to the side, and holy smokes, there is more. So there is so much going on in here. I think it is the sunscreen that is making me itch. It could be something else. There are a lot of ingredients in here, but I do know that for a lot of people, they don't have an issue with this. I've said this over and over again. My mom uses this, she loves it. My sisters have used this, they love it. But yeah, we're gonna go through the entire day. Right now, I think my skin looks awesome. I love how it's looking. Doesn't feel the greatest, but we will see how this wears and if it does end up getting a lot dewier. I have noticed in the past that the CC Illumination, now keep in mind it is an Illumination product, so it is more dewy to begin with, but by the end of the day, this one is just like way, way too much for me. I look like a grease ball. So I'm curious to see if this leaves me as oily and shiny at the end of the day, or if it stays just like this. I did set with a little bit of Bye Bye Pores pressed powder. I don't know how much I love this. It's okay, it's not like the best in the world. Something that I did use for the first time today is this Bye Bye Pores bronzer. This is really, really nice. I'm wearing it right now. It's not streaky, it's not patchy at all. I'm also wearing it underneath the lower lash line. That is a trick I like to do sometimes. When I don't want a super heavy, dark lower lash line, but I want something there, I will take the bronzer that I used that day and really, really smoke it out and it kind of pulls everything together in a weird way. I think it looks really pretty. Anyway, long story short, that is what I did today and I am really enjoying this. It blended so nicely, like no grabbing streaks none of that. I don't have anything else to say. All right, I'm gonna check in with you guys in a few hours. All right, you guys, so I'm about to go into Staples Center and watch a Lakers game. I am super excited. I'm not gonna bring my camera in, but I'll try to maybe grab some stuff on my phone. Uh, but the foundation is looking so good, you guys. It's so light and it really looks like I just have perfectly even skin with no product on it. It's really hot here in LA today, so it's a little bit more dewy than maybe I would love, but nowhere near how it gets with the CC Illumination from IT Cosmetics. So right now I love it. Again, I'm gonna have to play around with it. I don't know if this particular one will make me break out or clog my pores, but right now, like I like it so much that I wanna wear it again tomorrow. Yeah, you guys, I just got home from the game and I am ready for bed. I feel kind of like a big old mess. I have had a long day. It's been a really fun day, but it has been a long day. And looking close up in the mirror, right when I sat down in front of all of these very bright lights, I have to say I am super pleasantly surprised by how this product wore. It wore beautifully. I mean, I've had this on my face all freaking day long. Um, it's not a super long wear foundation, like it doesn't look 
crazy fresh and like full coverage still. But the difference is this product, the way it wears off, in my opinion, is similar to how a gloss wears off, where you're just left with like, you know, still a benefit where your skin looks moisturized and not chapped. Like it, it's better than nothing at all. Do you know what I'm saying? I want to wear it again. I'm kind of like tempted. I know that it cosmetics in the past has broken me out like crazy. And this did itch a little bit earlier in the day, but I feel like it kind of went away or I'm convincing myself that it did. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna try it a few more times. I'll let you guys know how it goes, but I like it that much is my point. So this one gets a huge thumbs up from me. I really, really love it. I think it does a great job. It does everything that it says it does. It's very buildable. It's not like super, super full coverage like Huda Beauty or even my YSL All Hours or Laura Mercier, but it's much fresher and just looks like your skin at its best. Like it just looks really hydrated, but covered at the same time. So I'm into it. I love it, Tati approved, 100%, I dig it. It's time to be done with this day and to wash all of my bye-bye foundation away. I love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out with me. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and my bye-bye foundation. I was gonna say no foundation foundation, but that's not what this is called. Oh, okay. Oh, I look tired, so tired, but at least my foundation does not look blotchy. All right, I gotta go, you guys. I'm starting to have the midnight crazies. Um, <laughs> all right, I love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.